So after many years of the licenses sitting with Dark Horse Comics, Alien and Predator are coming to Marvel. So announced today, uh, Marvel, and, and this makes sense with the Fox acquisition that this was, I mean, most people assumed this was coming. Um, Marvel's parent company, uh, Disney, uh, purchased the 20th Century Fox Studios, which included these properties. So what does this mean? Let's get into it. Hey everybody, this is Perch, uh, Alien and Predator coming to Marvel. So they've been with Dark Horse since forever, uh, basically since the late 80s. Uh, Dark Horse has had these properties and there have been a number of series, some good, some bad. There's some really kind of legendary ones and there's some real stinkers out there. But um, in both cases, those properties now come to Marvel. And we heard that during the uh, 20th Century Fox, this, this, or the studios, um, I, I should get um, a sign of the times, it's 20th Century Studios, not 20th Century Fox, um, that they were very excited about these two properties in particular. I think Disney was interested to start to build some movies off of them. I think there was an idea that they could have some uh, more mature content on Disney+. Plus. Not sure exactly how that would work. But anyway, there was a lot of excitement uh, about these, and some of that carried over to Marvel. So now we're getting some Marvel comics. Uh, we, we've, we officially are told they're coming. We don't know yet whether they're going to live in their standalone little universe or be part of Marvel. The little promo art had the Predator holding uh, like a severed uh, Iron Man head. Uh, indicating that he's going to chop off uh, Tony Stark's head. So, you know, they, that's cool. Um, but uh, we don't for sure know. However, uh, it makes sense that they pro well, I mean, I think they will. Uh, the the whole uh, Conan, um, you know, bring that back in, you know, it was, it was a very short amount of time before we had him coming to the future. So I think we can expect both Alien and Predator to join the Savage Avengers in the future and be part of this, this, uh, this whole universe. But what does this all mean? Um, again, Marvel has said that they want to dip their toes into more horror content and certainly more sci-fi content. There was a lot of announcements that we're going to get the new Space Age of Marvel, and certainly some of this sci-fi uh, would fit into that if they chose to go in that direction. But anyway, lots of Marvel people giving uh, comments about how excited they are. Uh, David Finch has uh, been drawing some promo art and, in theory, some variant covers at some point. And, um, and we'll see what they do with the universe. Uh, we do know at least that they are not going to carry over the, um, the, the canon established universe that Dark Horse had done. So it's going to be, you know, new stuff, uh, new, you know, new continuity, all the rest. Uh, that won't necessarily take in that that other material, and uh, we'll see we'll see what they can do. I mean, I, I think we can all pretty much. Um, <laughs> I've, I'm I'm just holding myself back here. I want to make a joke, and and I I won't, but um, definitely I think. You know, we'll get to explore the different parts of uh, the Alien Predator universe. I'm looking forward to that first six issue arc where we actually never get to see a the alien. We we get to talk about the the group of um, people traveling in space, and they're going to head to that alien world at some point. It's going to take six issues. We're going to get into the depth of them. They're going to have a lot of scenes of them like microwaving space food, and then uh, maybe talking. And there will be some some romance that kind of goes on but doesn't. And then some back and forth between those characters, and then the last issue, you know, last issue, maybe they get to the alien planet, and you know, they discover that the aliens are are, are not so bad, and uh, they're, you know, they're, there's a Me Too moment in there somewhere. I, I don't know. Um, anyway, <laughs> I think that Marvel um, certainly. You know they have the distribution, the capability to do something with characters. I love them as a kid, so I'm I'm interested to see what they do with them. Um, but you know, I uh, I don't know. Signs signs look a little grim. I'm not looking forward to uh, the first issue with the 50 variant covers and the uh, <laughs> the eventual um, crossovers and all the rest. But but who knows? If I, here's where it would go great. If Marvel could just establish a nice standalone, don't don't try and don't have the Avengers or the Guardians of the Galaxy meet the Predators. Let's just just keep that away for now, and just do some. You know, I joke about the six-issue arc. Do some tight little stories where we get to see this universe. We get to get some real horror, um, some 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 real kind of bleeding-edge sci-fi. Uh, put some good creative talent on it. That would be awesome. 
Um, I think these characters and these properties can definitely benefit comics, and, and a lot of what they do is made for comics. And, and, and the, the great stories that Dark Horse told were great. There's some really, really memorable ones in there. Um, so hopefully Marvel will will uh, get to produce some of their own as well and not get hung up in, in the rest. But anyway, Alien Predator, Marvel. Not sure what else to be said. No creative teams have been announced. Uh, Jason Aaron in the past has talked about wanting to do something uh, with these characters, and 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 you know, there's some some fondness I think to that he has, and I'm, I'm sure a number of people within Marvel or have those nostalgic feelings for these properties, and so I think there's going to be a scramble to kind of get on them. And but the trick will be how do you make it more uh, impactful and really do everything with these stories and not not have it wander into uh, to silliness. Um, you know, as Star Wars, uh, the way those comics came out, a lot of excitement coming in. It just never really um, it gelled, or it, it, the, the excitement went back out of it again pretty quickly. And, and so, hopefully, they can do a, a little bit of a better job this time. Um, the the uh, the quote from C.B. Svolsky, I can clearly remember where I was when I saw each of these modern masterpieces for the first time, and re- reveling in how masterfully we've extraterrestrial dread and drama into some of the most iconic scenes we've ever seen on film. So that's a big legacy to live up to, as he notes. So, you know, live up to it, Marvel. Um, they're, they're, uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. What about you? Are you excited to uh, see Alien and Predator comics coming from Marvel? Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter or Facebook at Comic Perch. And thanks for listening.